The following video goes into the calculations for earth electrodes. In this instance, rods both single and multiple. The idea is to take some of the guesswork out of just knocking a rod in and hoping for the best. If you've seen some of my videos involving calculations, you will have seen that I strongly recommend the use of a Casio FX85GT scientific calculator. Great care needs to be taken not to damage underground services. This can be potentially dangerous and very expensive. Space can be a problem, especially if multiple rods are required. This is a useful link to give you an idea what to expect regarding the resistivity of, of the soil is in the area where you are installing the earth rod. It is a guide to general conditions and it should be borne in mind variation within a particular area may occur. Other geographical features that could be problematical is a restriction on the depth of rod achievable. This is the formula for calculating the resistance of a single earth rod once you have an idea of the resistivity of the soil. As stated previously, the Casio FX85GT makes the calculations so much simpler. A previous video explains the functions in detail. If we know the resistance of the electrode, we can transpose the formula to make resistivity the subject of the calculation. Using the same values from the previous example, it can be seen that the result can be confirmed. If we obtain the value of resistivity in this way, we can then decide how to reduce the resistance to an acceptable value by either a greater depth of rod or employing multiple rods. This is the formula for multiple rods. You will see the Greek symbol for lambda, which is like an upturned Y, representing 
uh, what we call a group factor. On the calculator, this is represented as shown. The calculation for multiple rods is slightly more involved and careful entering of the values is required. I will say that a little practice will soon pay dividends and most formulas found in BF7671 can be mastered. This example is where the resistivity of the soil is 500 ohms per meter and it can be seen that the depth of rod is the best option to follow. If the required depth is not achievable then multiple rods may be required. I hope you have found this video helpful if so please subscribe hit the like button and please give feedback in the comments thank you